grew into a defensive tackle for a yeah, while? Yeah, I grew into a defensive tackle, I think, my first two years. And then it's just a need It's a need right now where we, we need that defensive end. I'm willing to sacrifice myself for the team. I feel like playing defensive end is like my natural position. I, I think I'm ready to go back to it. What do you bring to the defense as, outside like that? I'm just bringing, I'm bringing aggression, aggressive, like aggressive effort every time. So that's what, that's what, that's what I'm here for. I was saying I'm like pretty much the punisher, like beat up the tight end, beat up the offensive tackles. So. Were you, when you came here, did you think it was going to be tackle from the start or was that a surprise to you that that's where you ended up? It was, it was a surprise, but I had a feeling once Adolphus left and like, if I really wanted to get on the field those, those last two years, I had to move the transition to move the defensive tackle. But since like you know Jalen, Taekwon, Sam, all them left, and it's a needed position at even saying, I feel like it was a great transition for me to go back to it. When uh, when Draymond moved inside initially, he said like he was playing inside, but he still felt like a defensive end. Like, did that, yeah, that, that the case yeah, for you? yeah, that's how it was. Like playing three tech, like you only you don't have so much space, but like you you feel like a defensive end because like you still like you still like we're, we're light defensive ends, so we can still move and able to transition and pass for us and stuff like that. So when you're stepping outside now, it's not it's, it's not much of a transition for you? No, it's, it just feels like it feels natural again, you know? Yeah. Rushing off the edge, it feels like what I've done my whole life. What's the waiting game in life? What? The waiting game, I mean, having to be patient, having to kind of buy some time. Yeah, Coach Meyer was just talking about today, it's not, it's not about being patient anymore, it's about you're up, it's your turn, like, you're here to play, man. That's what they say for new freshmen coming in, you're not here to wait. Wait your turn. It's like you got to feel right away. But like over the past few years, I know I've been waiting and waiting. But like my opportunity is now, and I have to take it. I mean, had it been hard for you to kind of come in, you know, a highly talented guy? Yeah, it was. It was hard. It was. It was really hard because like I had some bumps in the road because like I had my hernia my my sophomore year, and like I kept getting like hurt, and like that always set me back. But like now I'm fully healthy and I'm light. On my weight's light. I'm down on weight, and I feel I just feel great now. What is your weight? 270, 273 on that. Jay Sean, when, when you came in, you were pretty tight with Justin Hilliard, right? When you yeah, guys came in, together. still my roommate now. Right. And you guys have had, like we were just talking about, kind of bumpy career, some of it, most of it not due to anything that you guys have done, just the injury stuff. What's it been like for the two of you to have to go through some of that stuff and now you seem positioned to. Yeah, I, I think it was like, it was just us having that mindset like, all right, we get hurt, but like, you got to come back stronger each time. So, like, it's like we're given the opportunity now in spring ball to we're both healthy and we're both like ready to go and like it's just like us, us having the opportunity to get back on the field and show what we can really do. How, how much did you help each other through that? Oh, every day, like he's my he's been my roommate since freshman year, best friend since sophomore year, and like he's my next door neighbor right right across the hall. So like we talk all the time, watch film all the time, like we critique each other and like we give we give each other stuff all the time about like, what we can do better and what we need to do to get on the field. I know you've only been out here a few days now, but what's he looked like so far? He's break? been looking good, I think. I think that's what he's saying. I, I talked to him at home about how his practice is going. He said he's doing great. He said he has some, a couple mistakes in practice, but we're not worrying about mistakes right now. Just happy to be on the field. Yeah.